Southern California, welcome to Money Matters with Dino. Saturdays from noon to one, right here on Power Players Radio, KTLK AM 1150. Do you own a home or have plans to in the future? You'll get all the information you need to know about what's happening in the local real estate market and how to take advantage of that knowledge. How to approach home ownership or mortgage financing with design, vision, and focus, as well as accurate information. Whether you're buying, selling, or investing, listen to Money Matters with Dino right here on Power Players Radio, KTLK AM 1150. Welcome to Money Matters with Dino, the most important hour of radio for Southern Californians every week. My name is Dino Katsiamatis, and I want to thank you for joining today's conversation. Sounds like a bold thing to say, the most important hour of radio. But if you're listening right now, I guarantee that by the time this show is over, you'll have learned something valuable. If you go to our website, moneymatterswithdino.com, you'll see the tagline, From Your Estate to Real Estate, Where Your Money Matters. That title, it sums up what our show is all about. It's about money. Your money. My goal and purpose for this show is to educate you regarding your money. Now, that can be anything from buying and selling homes to the stock market or even starting a new business. How do I do this? I seek out top professionals in their marketplace, and I have them share their years of experience and knowledge with you. Now, I know real estate, and I'm a lifelong entrepreneur. I even have knowledge in some other fields, but I don't consider myself an expert in all areas of business. Therefore, in this show... I bring you respected professionals that are experts in their fields because it's critical to me that I provide you with accurate and up-to-date information, and I take that very seriously. Like I mentioned before, my expertise is in growing and managing wealth using the vehicle of real estate. Having decades of experience and extensive knowledge in helping people with their real estate needs has convinced me that real estate is still one of the many and best ways to grow a steady and secure portfolio of wealth, but it's not the only one. And that's why I call the show Money Matters. The other, and I think the greater reason, is that money affects your quality of life. Every financial decision you make affects every aspect of your life, from where you live to how you live. And if you're a family man like me, it also affects if and where your kids will go to college. Think about that. Every financial decision you make today will affect your quality of life tomorrow. Decisions that will affect what neighborhood you live in, what schools your kids will go to, if your kids will be able to play an organized sport or even learn an instrument. I know that sounds silly, but it's not. All these things cost money. I know as well as anybody does, you don't want to say no because of money, but too many of us have to too much of the time. Money, when managed properly, will enable you to say yes. And more importantly, understanding money, whether it's in the stock market, real estate, or stuffed under your mattress, can protect you from turbulent times like we recently experienced the past few years. Here's something I love to say, and you're going to hear me say it a lot. And this is coming from a guy that loves real estate. Don't just get real estate rich, get rich. And we're here to teach you how. I hope you enjoy this show. Before I get into what we have in store for you today, I want to share with you this week's words of wisdom. None of us are as smart as all of us. None of us are as smart as all of us. Why is this quote important to me? Well, because I absolutely believe that a group of people working together effectively as a team is the most powerful way to accomplish any goal. It's not possible for you to know how to do everything, nor should you. You end up being a jack of all trades and a master of none. Isn't it better to be an expert at what you do and then put together a team of experts that complement what you do? Of course it is. I always like to say, it's like when you go to a doctor's office, you can go to a general practitioner and there's a line and it's expensive, but it only takes like, I don't know, two, three, four days to get an appointment. If you have a a specific problem, next thing you know, you're waiting a month to see this uh, this specialist and you're paying five, 10 times more money. So be an expert at what you do and put together a team of people that do the other pieces for you. So stay tuned because with me today in studio, we have Tony Pinto. He's the Western Regional Manager of Citywide Home Loans and Jordan Bennett from Keller Williams. In the next segment, our guests will join us in our discussion with our panel of experts. Today, we're addressing the extremely important topic of the secrets to buying in a seller's market. Don't miss out on that discussion. And as always, our last segment, the Ask Dino segment where my producer, Phil, asks us all the questions that uh, that you, the listener, have either emailed us or Facebooked us through the week. 
And you're definitely not going to want to miss because we're going to have a, a guest appearance on this one, uh, an actual other lender that I'm going to let for the first time answer some of these questions here so we can test out his, uh, his expertise and knowledge. Now, if you have any questions for me or you'd like to get in touch with our guests, you can call us at 949-720-1616. That's 949-720-1616 or check us out online at moneymatterswithdino.com. Use us as your resource for wealth. This segment is brought to you by DLS Transportation Limo Company. Luxury on-time transportation at a reasonable rate. I want to quickly, though, say a quick thank you to all the guys and gals over there at DLS uh, for joining our team. As, as you know, we, we only partner with the top-tier professionals, and these guys certainly fit that requirement. If you, uh, if you need a limousine, a helicopter, a yacht, a private jet, any of those things, DLS Transportation is the one for you. Guaranteed you're going you're gonna to enjoy their service. So co-hosting with me today is my producer, Phil Giagrande. How you doing, man? I'm fantastic, Phil. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Hey, today we got uh, we got a pretty interesting topic, and we're talking about the secrets of buying in the seller's market. You know, I know you've done some research on it, so uh, tell me what, what you I found. I have, yeah. Um, well, the, the thing that kept popping up was building a good team around you to do it, because it's gotten so complicated now, uh, I, probably because of the crash that... that People just you just need a, a team of professionals to kind of guide you through the whole thing. So I found something, an interesting article on uh, Forbes.com on finding great people for your team. It starts with, so what does greatness mean? It means something different to everyone and something different for every situation. But I tend to follow some pretty basic tenets when evaluating candidates for my team. Are they passionate? Do they care deeply and strongly about something, anything? If so, they will use their passion to keep them going in the rough times. Are they driven with great work ethic? Do they put their all into what they do? I don't need someone who will work 20 hours a day for me, but I look for someone who takes their role seriously and is committed to, to my success and their success. Uh, are they skilled? Are they skilled in the area of expertise? Can they contribute in the area that they are, are working in better than I can and better than most, if not all uh, other people that I've met with? Will they not be afraid of conflict or challenge? This is very important and often missed and something I learned in, in school. Will this person debate me? Will they challenge me? If they disagree with my decisions, will they push back and let me know what's right for the market? Uh, I'm not looking for somebody who's just going to tell me what I want to hear and go for the easy commission. I'm looking for people who will push me to think smarter and make better decisions. And then the fifth thing is, do I like them? Are they fun to be around? Will I enjoy having to work with them? Because honestly, buying a house is no easy thing. And you're going to spend some serious time with the people on your team, probably, to do this. So that's that's sort of what I found, and I couldn't agree with it more. I think. You know, I, I actually totally agree with you. There's so many things there you said that uh, that made me think of certain things that's happened to me in life, and um, you know, one of them is, do you like them? You, no matter how smart somebody is that you're working with, if you don't get along with them, it's just not going to end up good. Period. That's right. You know, so. In whether you're buying and selling stocks or, or buying and selling homes, you're going to have to be working with somebody and you got to like them. You absolutely have to be able to trust them. And, you know, one of the comments you made here was, will they not be afraid of conflict and challenge? And, you know, all too often when there is conflict and challenge, what do you think most people do? They either yes you to death or they run and hide and don't they, want to deal with it. Yep. They either run and hide or they yes you. Either one is absolutely the wrong thing to say. Yep. You, you have to be able to tell your client or your team member or your spouse or whoever it is what the issue is, talk about it, and be able to come up with the resolution. There's a, there's a resolution to everything. Sometimes it's not always good, but there is a resolution <laughs> to everything. My life, in case in point. Well, good. So when we, uh, when we speak to our panel here, I think we're going to go over a lot of those things, and you're going to be pretty interested in see what they have to say. So you're listening to Money Matters with Dino. If you have any questions at all about anything you heard here today, or you'd like to inquire about a refinance or purchase of a home, give me a call at 949-720-1616, and let me help you make the best real estate decisions for you and your family. That's 949-720-1616, or check us out online at moneymatterswithdino.com. This segment was brought to you by DLS Transportation Limo Company, luxury on-time transportation at a reasonable rate. Coming up after the break, we have our panel discussion with the experts. Joining us today is Tony Pinto, Western Regional Manager of Citywide Home Loans, and Jordan Bennett from Keller Williams, the Mission Viejo. 
While you're waiting, think about your financial goals and ask yourself, am I thinking like an entrepreneur in a way that will make me truly wealthy? Stay with us. We'll be right back. When it comes to purchasing or refinancing your home, turn to someone with experience, CHL Mortgage. It doesn't matter if you're a first-time home buyer, purchasing the home of your dreams, or refinancing. The team of mortgage specialists at CHL Mortgage provide you with superior knowledge and service. Their ultimate goal? Getting the highest quality loan at low rates. Their second goal, to create a lasting relationship with every client and continue to provide excellent service for years to come. If you're looking to purchase or refinance, call the experts at 888-814-3335. That's 888-814-3335. Get additional details at www.chl.cc or call their office at 888-814-3335. Finally, a reputable legal firm. City A Law Center, a nationally recognized nonprofit homeowner advocate, one of the most trusted firms in the country for helping consumers with their loan modification process. CDA's attorneys have decades of combined experience guiding their clients through the very complex and choppy waters of loan modification. Call 877-499-4435, 877-499-4435. Finally, honest and ethical advice to gain real results. Call CDA Law Center at 877-499-4435. That's 877-499-4435. Or check them out online at cdalawcenter.com. Welcome back to Money Matters with Dino. If you have any questions for me or my guest, or if you need help with your money matters, give us a call. We're at 949-720-1616. That's 949-720-1616. Or check us out online at moneymatterswithdino.com. This segment is brought to you by CFAM Credit Solutions. CFAM Credit Solutions specializes in credit repair. And let me tell you guys, as a lender, I deal a lot with everybody's credit. I mean, your loan your car loan, your home loan, anything that that requires money these days also requires credit. And if you don't have that situated and you don't have your loose ends all tied up, you're going to have problems. You're not going to get the best rates for things and you're not going to have an easy time in life. So if you have any issues, log on to moneymatterswithdino.com, look up CFAM Credit Solutions and get yourself started on uh, on a new path towards clean credit. Call us direct at 949 720 1616, and I'll explain to you how that works if you need some help. So joining us today, we have our discussion panel with the experts, and we have Tony Pinto here, Western Regional Manager from Citywide Home Loans, and Jordan Bennett from Keller Williams. Today, we're talking about the secrets to buying in a seller's market, and I'm really excited because we have two very knowledgeable guys here today, and, and on the way up here, we were talking a lot about uh, about what they do in order to to help their clients out. So guys, welcome to the show. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Tony, let's start with you. Give us a little bit of your background. You know, I know you personally, and I know you're from Utah, and you're you're kind of a newbie out here in California, but you seem to be adapting pretty well. I, it is not a difficult adaptation at all, <laughs> at, at all. So it's been great. You know, a uh, quick story about Tony. He was in my office uh, probably, I don't know, a month or two ago, and it happened to be kind of a cold day. But through the window, we saw somebody watering the grass outside. And he just couldn't help himself. He stopped everything. He took his phone out. He took a camera so he can send it back to corporate because he's like, they're watering the grass in February. (laughs) Doesn't happen in in the Salt Lake uh, Valley very often in February. So there's usually two feet of snow on the ground. So aside from the weather out here, tell us about your background. You you started off owning a, a real estate company, I believe. Uh, I actually owned a mortgage company. I did. Uh, started it at probably the wrong time, uh, right before the fall in 2007, 2008 in the market. Um, and then found Citywide. They were doing all the right things. Uh, had a great name. And uh, so joined with, with Citywide and Rest is history. So I've been there now for about four years. And then you came out to California to open up the whole Western side of, uh, of America here. We did. We did. So, uh, you know, world domination. We want to be everywhere that's, in the that's West. That's what we want, huh? And uh, right now our, our primary focus is on uh, California. So what I like about you, Tony, is you not only have the ambition to open up quite a bit, the a whole territory, but 
as far as your your knowledge of loans, you actually do know what you're talking about. Well, I'm glad I've got you fooled. You got me fooled. So that's great. Or or is it just the quality of your team that you put together? Well, I they would probably be able to answer that question better than I so, would. So either yeah. way, I'm impressed because even if a man doesn't know how to do something, as long as he has the right people doing it, job's getting done. There you go. Jordan Bennett, what about you, sir? You are a young, crazy fast-paced entrepreneur who is absolutely killing it right now. A lot of people thought I was crazy when I got into the real estate market, that's for sure. I got in in 2008 uh, when things were when things were tough, but it was uh, it was a great move. And in a market like right now where most people are writing offer after offer after offer and not getting it accepted, you're actually having quite a bit of success with your clients. Yeah, where well, you know my goal is to uh, to not waste my time and, and more importantly to not waste the time of my clients. And so using some uh, unique strategies and just trying to use every edge that we can to uh, to get ahead of of the big stack of other offers. So. Well, don't don't let the secret out just yet. We're going to talk about it here in just a little bit. But now you and Tony actually work together and and work as a team in the sense of you find the client and Tony does the loans, closes it up, and together you guys seem to be doing a pretty good job. Yeah, we do a lot of business together, and uh, having the right team is is critical. You know, I think there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of loan officers that are, are throwing everything against the wall and seeing what sticks. But you know, really just being diligent in uh, making sure all the pieces are there, and you know that you got a, a strong pre approval, it's going to make all the difference. And uh, we'll talk about that in the in the secrets. Good, excellent. So, you also have an accounting background. You you actually are a CPA. I am. I started my career in a uh, big four public accounting firm, auditing uh, big companies, getting exposure to a lot of different businesses. And, uh, you know, sitting uh, behind a desk and pencil pushing was not it for me. I needed to, you know, be around people, help people and uh, found my passion there. So uh, I'm going to laugh a little bit because when when I first was in touch with you and we exchanged emails, I, I saw all these initials after your your name. Tell us about all these initials and uh, and what they mean. Well, you know what we do is I just throw the alphabet in a, in a random you know mix and just throw a bunch of letters. <laughs> no, we I, I have a number of uh, I mean it's a CPA like you mentioned, uh, short sale and foreclosure resource. I'm an accredited buyer's representative, and uh, you know I just really strive to really just stay educated and to stay at the cutting edge of what's happening because if you know if you know what's happening and you have you know those additional resources, it's going to be better for the client. Well, I'm glad that you have the CPA background because I, I wanted to touch upon the the advantages of buying versus renting. And you know, there's a lot of people that are renting right now that you know, first time home buyers especially that don't really understand the tax benefits and uh, of buying and having a tax benefit there. Can you explain to us a little bit about how that works? Yeah, you know, the reality is that in this market, you know, because when you're buying a home, you know, and, and Tony will speak more to this, I'm sure, but when, you, when you're buying a home you're buying something that's highly leveraged. You know, you're putting five, ten, twenty percent down on an asset. You know, where where the bank is paying for the rest, and with money cheaper than it's ever been. In a lot of cases, you know, especially considering the tax benefit, it's going to be cheaper to own a home uh, than to rent. And when you ask me specifically about the tax benefit, you know, remember that in the early years of your home loan, the majority of what you're paying is interest. You know, a lot of folks look at that as if it's a bad thing. It's a fantastic thing because that mortgage interest and your property taxes can be written off your income taxes. So what it means is you're actually saving, you know, in a lot of cases, several hundred dollars a month if you, you know, if you spread it out over the year in tax savings. So when you actually subtract that number from what you're paying on your mortgage, you're going to find in a lot of cases that your out of pocket on a monthly basis for your home payment is actually going to be cheaper than rent. And and see that's interesting because some people don't really look at the bigger picture, and most most of them don't know how to right. And it, all they do is look at how much I'm paying in rent versus how much I would be paying in a mortgage, and don't see all the other advantages. Not to mention, you know, as the house continues to go up, the appreciation is spectacular, or it could be. Obviously, we've seen a, a decline recently, but in the past years, there's been quite a few a few people that have made a significant amount of money just by being in, in real estate. And earlier on the way up, you actually gave a statistic that Keller Williams had put out. Can you give us that statistic? Yeah. Keller Williams actually did a study and found that the average net worth of a renter is around $4,000. The average net worth of a homeowner 
is about one hundred and eighteen thousand dollars. Now that's a national number, and I would I would bet that those numbers are even more separate um, in California, and just in terms of you know the difference in, in being a homeowner. That doesn't mean every renter is poor by any right. means. I mean these are average numbers, but the point is that you know you, you really can build wealth through owning real estate. Excellent. If you just jumped into your car, you're listening to Money Matters with Dino. And if you'd like to speak to my guest here today, uh, just call us up at 949-720-1616. That's 949-720-1616. And I guarantee that uh, with with Jordan here, he's got some, I guess, more than just the, the sales part of real estate. He has the expertise that most people don't. And that's the accounting background. And, and I guarantee if you sit down with the con- for a consultation with Jordan, you will absolutely look at things in a different light, which is probably with why he's having so much success in real estate. Jordan, what about that statistic you gave me? And, you know, does it does it matter much, let's say, uh, a coastal community uh, renter versus and buying versus inland? Yeah, absolutely. It does make a big difference. You know, what we're really talking about is the price to rent ratios. It's the same thing you'd be looking at if you were an investor. You know, you want to find, if you're an investor and you're looking to buy a piece of property, you want to find a place where the rents are quite a bit more than the mortgage payment would be because then you're going to have a cash flow on a monthly basis. You're looking at the same thing, you know, when you're looking to buy a piece of property. You want to, typically what I do with somebody says, hey, Jordan, is, is this a good time to buy? Is this a good place to buy? We're going to look at what homes are renting for in that neighborhood, and we're going to look at what your monthly payment's going to look like on a mortgage. We're going to factor in the tax benefit, and we're kind of going to look at it apples to apples. And like I said, in 90, 90% of cases, it's going to make more sense to buy. Now, in coastal communities, that's a little bit less true. You know, For example, I, I had a friend that was living uh, in Corona Del Mar and a piece of property probably worth close to $2 million that had been renting there for a long period of time. And their rent was about twenty five hundred a month. Now the mortgage on that piece of property, you're looking at probably at about seven eight thousand dollars a month. So I told her you need to never leave. You stay there forever until you know that piece of property sells and the next owner hikes up the rent. So in certain cases like that in coastal communities, a lot of times you've got this big disparity between what the mortgage would be and what the rents are. It's a great place to rent, to be honest with you. Well, you know, it's funny you say that because I actually have a client in Del Mar who rents. And um, one would th- one would think, why do you why do you rent? You got money. You got. He goes, there's no way I can afford a house like what I live in now with an ocean view in Corona Del Mar, you know, anywhere for what I pay. But you know, what? the guy's got four rental properties. So there you go. My recommendation to people when they're in a situation like that. I mean, if you want to live in a coastal community that you can't quite afford, just go buy a rental property. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. You're listening to Money Matters with Dino, and if you have any questions at all about your mortgage, current interest rates, any pro, anything that you heard here today with our guests, you can call us up at 949-720-1616. That's 949-720-1616. I do want to remind you that I am a mortgage broker, and this is a very complicated market of buyers and sellers. Therefore, my recommendation is to put together a team that really knows the industry, knows your market, and understands your needs. If you'd like some help putting that team together, give me a call. I'll help you out. Phone number is 949-720-1616. That's 949-720-1616. Or you can check us out online at moneymatterswithdino.com. We'll be right back after the break and continue our panel discussion with the experts. Finally, a reputable legal firm. CDA Law Center, a nationally recognized nonprofit homeowner advocate, one of the most trusted firms in the country for helping consumers with their loan modification process. CDA's attorneys have decades of combined experience guiding their clients through the very complex and choppy waters of loan modification. Call 877-499-4435, 877-499-4435. Finally, honest and ethical advice to gain real results. Call CDA Law Center at 877-499-4435. That's 877-499-4435. Or check them out online at cdalawcenter.com. 
Mortgage professionals, are you looking for a company that values you as a loan officer? One that can provide you with the tools you need to grow your business at your pace? Then look no further than CHL Mortgage. CHL Mortgage provides you with a full range of residential loan products and services. You'll be backed by an exceptionally trained team of professionals that can take your clients as seriously as you do. Your clients will be treated with dedicated service, personal integrity, and exceptional professionalism. You'll be able to guide them in the right loan with competitive rates and keep them on the road to achieving life's goals. To get started on advancing your career, call Dino with CHL Mortgage at 949-720-1616. That's CHL Mortgage, 949-720-1616. Welcome back to Money Matters with Dino. If you have any questions for me or my guests, or if you need help with your money matters, give us a call at 949-720-1616. That's 949-720-1616. Or you can check us out online at moneymatterswithdino.com. This next segment has been brought to you by CHL Mortgage, bringing you low rates, specials on closing costs, and exceptional service. We're in the middle of our panel discussion with the experts, and if you're just tuning in, we're talking about the secrets to buying in a seller's market. And we have we have both Jordan Bennett from Keller Williams and uh, Tony Pinto from Citywide Home Loans over here. And Jordan is having incredible success right now in, in getting offers accepted where most agents can't. So I wanted to talk to both of you guys a little bit about what that secret is. And and Jordan, I know the, the first step is somewhat of a consultation. So you can kind of know where your client's at and what they're looking for. But from what I gather, just being in the business, you never want to get started with anybody until they finish getting pre-qualified. Is that correct? Yeah, having a pre-approval in this market is critical. You know, setting the expectations for a buyer up front on what their monthly payment is going to look like, uh, what they need to consider. I mean, lending guidelines are changing so so constantly that it's really important to make sure every you know every T is crossed, every I is dotted, and that you know the file is is really ready to go. The worst thing that can happen is a buyer doesn't do that, falls in love with the property, and then finds out there's no way they can afford that property. You know, I tell I tell my clients that are not so keen on getting pre-approved, it's like, you know, going hunting with uh, without any ammo. It just doesn't make sense. It's a waste of their time and and everyone's time. Yeah, absolutely. So let's let's talk to the second best lender in this room right now, oh, Tony Pinto. Wow, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Tony when you first have a client call and they're trying to buy a home, how does your consultation go with them? What what do you talk about? So when I first talk to a client, um, basically it takes about 10 or 15 minutes and I really want to get an idea of how long they want to be in this property, what their real goal is, and then from there what their comfort level is with a payment. Uh, a lot of times they don't know that. They, they'll come in and, or they'll they'll call and want to talk to me about you know, we need to get pre-approved for X amount, but they don't really realize that the cost of that monthly. So we talk a little bit about th- about that, uh, and then we kind of go through taking an application, pulling their credit, evaluating everything so that we can determine how much they can get approved up to. And then obviously you write the, the approval uh, and go forward. You give it back to the real estate agent. They go out and look for the home. But I know recently... Uh, at Citywide, we've been kind of doing it a little bit different, and you've been just really spearheading this because you see the the importance of getting somebody a little more than pre-qualified. Sure, absolutely. So, obviously, with the, with the changes in this market and it being a seller's market, uh, one of the things that's been difficult is there's a lot of buyers out there that are they're looking to buy, and there's a there's not a lot of inventory. So, what we've done is to try to strengthen up some of these offers. Is actually had the clients go through a full approval process with their credit and income prior to them finding a property so that when they're putting their offer in, it's basically like a blank check. They've got a full credit and income approval from an underwriter that they're they're ready to buy a home. And guys, if you don't understand the importance of that, let me let me explain it to you because this is very this is extremely significant right now. And if you're having a hard time getting your offers accepted, a thing like this will set you apart from everybody else. And what I mean by that is you actually go through the full approval not just from your loan officer, but from the underwriter. The underwriter will issue an approval and you'll know exactly what you're up against. So for example, if you're having uh, issues with the down payment and where it's coming from, all that stuff is taken care of up front. So when you do write your offer, you write it with no loan contingencies. That means a lot. So when the seller's 
you know, basically looking at all the different offers they received. They're going to look at obviously price is number one, um, quality and strength of of the buyer number two, you know, and then how long it'll take to close the loan. And you know, if you're competing against somebody with all cash, okay, maybe you're not going to, maybe that's not going to do any good. But but most people are still financing their home. So if you go in with the strong offer, meaning no loan contingencies, and you can close in 15 days, chances are you're going to be in the top three percent of of the people getting that offer. So Jordan, now the offer comes back to you. You have a a potential for a 15 day close with no loan contingencies. What else do you do that makes your offer so strong? Why are you getting your offers accepted? Hey, that's a great question. And I hope there's no other real estate agents listening today because I'm about <laughs> to give you my secrets to uh, get offers accepted. You know, when when I sit down with a client, one of the biggest thing is having clear expectations that my, my clients are coached. I think a lot of agents are, are writing 15, 20, 25 offers for their clients because they're not really guiding and consulting their clients. The client's driving the ship and they're just kind of, you know, trying to trying to give some guidance, but it's not happening. It's not going through. Um, so I, I tell my clients on the front end that there's four things that are going to make a difference in your offer getting accepted. Everyone knows price is important. So that's number one. Um, you know, you're going to be pre-approved up to a certain amount. You can compete with what you can compete with. But beyond price, there's a couple other very important terms that can get your offer accepted. The next thing is financing. You know, what you're going to hear a lot of is there being a lot of all cash offers in the market. There's going to be times when you're going to get beat out by all cash, but the financing piece is so critical. And what Dino said about getting that full underwritten approval is so crucial. And when we can tell a seller, we can close quickly, we can remove our contingencies more quickly, this buyer's good to go. That makes such a huge difference. The next piece is timing. You know, and that's that's my job is it's really scrubbing the inventory. And when a home comes available, we're moving quickly on it because there's literally cases where a property hits the market and they're reviewing offers the next day. So if I miss it, that property's gone. That was our chance and it's and it's blown. So just moving very quickly. And the fourth more, most important piece is representation. You know, a couple of things that I do when I'm writing an offer for a client. One is I'm following up like crazy. I'm talking to that agent um, probably three or four times before that offer gets submitted, and then two or three more times after it's submitted to follow up. So there's a relationship there. Just like in any you know any relationship, you want to be mirroring and matching and kind of meeting that other agent where they're at. If they're quick and they want to get off the phone, I'm going to be quick and I'm going to get off the phone quick. If they want to talk and talk and talk about this property and the seller situation, I'm going to talk to them for 15 minutes and become their best friend. And now all of a sudden they, they've got almost a vested interest in seeing my offer get accepted. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is make sure the terms of the offer are what the seller wants. I'm going to ask the listing agent, you know, is your seller in a hurry? I mean, should we write a short escrow? Or is it the opposite? Do they want a two-month rent back? They need to be in that house for another 60 days because we'll write that right in that initial contract so they don't have to counter us. And so really just, it's really asking the right questions. It's following up. It's showing my client's motivation. And by doing all those things together, all of a sudden in that, you know, the pile of 10 offers, my offer is really shining because there's, there's a lot more there now. You know, it's funny. It's that if you were listening to the beginning of the show and Phil was reading off the, from the article in Forbes, Jordan basically just mentioned, he touched upon every one of the things that Forbes mentioned. Are they passionate? Are they driven with great work ethic? Are they skilled? Will they not be afraid of conflict and challenge? Do I like them? Pretty much everything you just said right there is why you're getting your offers accepted. And it's exactly what Forbes just said. If you just jumped into your car, you're listening to Money Matters with Dino, and we can be reached at 949 720 1616. That's 949 720 1616, or you can check us out online at moneymatterswithdino.com. That's all great advice. You know, the, the other thing too is the contingency removal. The California purchase contract states that a buyer has 17 days to remove lender and appraisal contingencies, basically all contingencies. Um, Tony, on on the lending side, tell us about how practical it is to get that done in 17 days versus in your situation when you actually go through the process ahead of time and how quickly are you able to remove those contingencies? Well, the the good thing is that um, typically when someone starts to look, if we can get them in and have them bring all of their documentation in up front, which some people don't think that they need to do that, but if we can get the buyer committed to doing that, 
we can have everything taken care of as far as the approval before they're looking. That way that the way that the contract is already set up by California, the state of California, they, there's plenty of time in that contract without having to have any additional contingencies put in there for protection. So again, what, what Jordan and I have been doing is with that full approval, we can waive those contingencies. So it just makes the offer look a lot stronger. Now you still have you still have to get an appraisal though, right? We do. So appraisals still do need to get get obviously done. That's the one piece that we don't have in the file when we we do our approval. Uh, but typically to get an appraisal in this market, if we needed to, we could have one turned in three days. So very quick, we usually are, are able to get an appraisal done. Now for for you listening, you got to realize that what Tony's saying there to a lot of people that may not sound possible because of what you're currently experiencing. But the fact of the matter is over at, at uh, citywide, we, we do, you know, and not, not everyone is that fast, but if we actually request a rush and we're on it, we can absolutely get that done. And, you know, I know, you know, with citywide, we, we go after purchase business. We're not a refi shop like some of these other big boys that we talk about. So when somebody, we realize the importance of somebody buying a house. And what I mean by that is if you're refinancing, you already, you're, you're already living in the house. You're not packing or unpacking boxes. You don't, you don't have to coordinate with moving trucks. It doesn't matter, I guess, if it takes an extra week or two or even three, but there's so many situations when people are buying a house, they've packed up everything. They've called the moving truck. They've got everything situated and all of a sudden their lender's not ready to close. That absolutely is the most difficult thing for a family to go through. And if you have kids and and you have, you know, a dog, for example, I mean, where do you go? Where do you go with everybody? I, I, I guess you go to the Motel 6. You, you I, do. I don't know. It, it, you know Grandma's what? house. Statistics <laughs> prove extended stay hotels right now are extremely busy with people that are in between houses because their lender couldn't close on time. It's insane. Well, and that to us is, you know, citywide, we, we've really tried to to be more efficient so that we don't run into those issues. And I think, again, not to not to continue to talk about it, but making sure that you're approved before you really start looking for a property is going to eliminate any of those issues that you would experience if um, if you're looking for a home. As you guys work together and you both have you know experienced many, many different uh, situations, do you have any stories of clients that you worked together on that were either, well, I'm not going to say either impressive or not impressive, just impressive. <laughs> Something that really worked the way you guys, you know, drive your business to be. Yeah. It's one of the most fun things to talk about, I think, is success stories because success stories are really stories of happy clients. And obviously our happy clients are our biggest Do advocates. we have bad stories? I don't think we have any Luckily, bad stories. Luckily, I have a few bad wood. stories about you, actually. We're not talking about those <laughs> stories. You mean related to real estate, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Real estate. Tony, you, why don't you start off on uh, on the one we did recently that was a real success. Yeah, um, you know, the one that one that comes to mind was uh, a borrower by, uh, all this, is it okay if I use the last no, name? Don't, is that don't right? use names. Okay. John, we'll call well, him John. We, we just had one recently for John, and, um, you know, he was, he met with Jordan. Jordan explained to them the importance of making sure that they had a full approval prior to getting in the car, going to the property, putting in offers or looking we had the approval taken care of within, you know, seven or eight business days. Uh, felt very confident we would have no issues. Jordan was able to locate a property that was coming up on the on the market, and um, you know, was able to actually get it open escrow on it very quickly. So we had the approval, opened escrow within probably a few days of having that approval. No, hold on, I'm going to stop you right there because you just said something that the way I heard the story. There's this whole other side on Jordan, how he got that into escrow. Yeah, so so one thing that I've been able to um, to identify with Jordan is he is one of the most persistent and ambitious agents that I've worked with. And so he's he's really going the extra mile. Like He knows that there's not a lot of inventory, so when an opportunity comes up, he's not going to miss it. He knows what his client wants, and he's in the market, and he's hunting. He's a hunter. This is why I bring up all the time that a real estate agent isn't somebody that can find you a house. It's somebody that can get you a house. Looking on MLS and you know searching a criteria that you're looking for is easy. Anybody can do that. But doing the business side of it, the negotiation side, and getting you into that house is really what it's all about. 
You're listening to Money Matters with Dino. This segment was brought to you by Citywide Home Loans. If you have any questions about your mortgage, current rates and programs, or you're looking to buy a new home or investment property, maybe you're looking for a new yacht. Who knows? Give us a call, 949-720-1616, and let me help you. A yacht. You just threw that in on me. I'm sitting, I I'm sitting, here, I'm sitting here looking at this thing I'm like, a yacht. I love it. Apparently, everybody everybody loved that one. <laughs> Give us a call, though. I'd love to help you out with your home mortgage. That's 949-720-1616. That's 949-720-1616. That's why we're here, to make sure you're getting the most out of your assets, managing your finances, protecting your family, and becoming wealthy. Call us at 949-720-1616 or check us out online at moneymatterswithdino.com. Stick around after the break. Tony Pinto and myself are going to be talking a little little bit more about mortgages. And then for the first time ever, I'm going to allow somebody else to answer all the listener questions in the Ask Dino segment. In the meantime, thank you for spending time with us. Thank you, Jordan Bennett, for joining us today. Really appreciate it. And remember, don't just get real estate rich, get rich. Your financial future is in your hands. We'll be right back. Mortgage professionals, are you looking for a company that values you as a loan officer? One that can provide you with the tools you need to grow your business at your pace? Then look no further than CHL Mortgage. CHL Mortgage provides you with a full range of residential loan products and services. You'll be backed by an exceptionally trained team of professionals that can take your clients as seriously as you do. Your clients will be treated with dedicated service, personal integrity, and exceptional professionalism. You'll be able to guide them in the right loan with competitive rates and keep them on the road to achieving life's goals. To get started on advancing your career, call Dino with CHL Mortgage at 949-720-1616. That's CHL Mortgage, 949-720-1616. Finally, a reputable legal firm. CDA Law Center, a nationally recognized nonprofit homeowner advocate, one of the most trusted firms in the country for helping consumers with their loan modification process. CDA's attorneys have decades of combined experience guiding their clients through the very complex and choppy waters of loan modification. Call 877-499-4435, 877-499-4435, Finally, honest and ethical advice to gain real results. Call CDA Law Center at 877-499-4435. That's 877-499-4435. Or check them out online at cdalawcenter.com. Here we go! Thank you for hanging with us. This is Money Matters with Dino. I'm your host, Dino Katsimatis, and I'm here to give you the tools and information to build a secure and strong portfolio using real estate and other investment tools. If you have any questions and want to give us a call, call us at 949-720-1616. That's 949-720-1616. Or check us out online at moneymatterswithdino.com. This next segment is brought to you by CDA Law Center, expert loan modifications and decades of legal experience in real estate. So we're still here with with Mr. Tony Pinto. And Tony Pinto and myself work together down in Newport Beach. And Tony is uh, he's he's a bit of a crack up. Um, he seems to to have this ambition and maybe a little bit of a wild streak in him that I'm trying to get him to uh, to you know release over well, here. Well, first let me just apologize to all of the listeners. It typically takes me four or five segments to get warmed up. So <laughs> so I'm I'm fully here now. So four or five segments, four or five drinks probably. Well, it's all right. So let's let's talk about why you came here from Utah. Sure. Well, again, it's it's not really a difficult trade-off there. Utah, cold, dry. California, warm, sunny, ocean, and beautiful women. So let me let me just put that up left and right and decide which one I want to live in. And and you live down in Newport Beach, right? I do. A horrible place to live. It's really hard <laughs> to live there. So you you came here though. Aside from the uh, the beautiful women and the warm weather, you, which by the way you are married. You sure you want to? Yeah, absolutely. She, she she's knows, she's aware she's, that there's beautiful women. Okay, here as well. good. Right. She's one of them, obviously. <laughs> so so you came here to open up the California division for uh, Citywide Home Loans. I did. And tell us about Citywide Home Loans. The uh, the history behind it. So uh, that's a great question. Uh, Steve Gorman, who's the owner of our company. 
uh, started this company in his basement of his condo 13 years ago and, uh, you know, just does things a little bit differently. Kind of brings a, a different flavor to our industry. Obviously, it's the banking environment, but he's always done it a lot more Which relaxed. is so not Steve. Right. Yeah, right. Exactly. Um, but has created an environment that people kind of want to gravitate towards. Uh, we have great loan officers that work for our company that are very successful that, uh, you know, are a lot more relaxed. So it's a, it's a great mix of success with uh, just kind of being, I don't know, having a good time. So, you know, if, if you are listening and you actually are in the lending business, it's something to think about because I, I have to admit that at Citywide, the environment uh, is not only fun and enjoyable, but you can actually produce there. I mean, they they do whatever they can in order to help their loan officers produce. And and I'll tell you one thing that I, I find really exciting about Citywide. If a loan is not, let's say, let's call it 100% approvable, the underwriter is not allowed to deny it. She has to finish underwriting the entire loan, and she that at best, she can suspend it until she takes it to committee. And then a group of people will actually review the entire file and see if they can figure out how to put it together. Tell us, now you, you, you worked at the corporate office for a while, sure. so you've seen this in action. Tell us how that works. So, well, and you, you described it really well. Um, you know, it was one thing that we used to not do. A few years ago, we would get suspended files or you would get a straight out denial and the underwriter would move to the next file. And we just found that, you know, to give us an edge and to make us different than everybody else, we weren't going to do that anymore. And so I, I can't tell you the last time that a denied file came through our, our company. It just doesn't exist. And and that also goes back to having good loan officers Quality well. loan officers. So right. you've got quality loan officers, quality processors, and you've got under, underwriters that understand the business. And that, uh, you know, if there is an issue that comes up, if there is an overlay potentially that would cause a file to be suspended, they're still going to take the time to underwrite that. They're going to give you the opportunity to find a different investor where that loan will fit. Um, the other issue, the, or excuse me, the other piece of that is if they are going to deny it, the CEO, the owner, the head underwriter, and a senior loan officer get together and they they meet on that file, like you said, to see if there's any way to put the, to place that file with any of the, you know, investors that we work with. And nine times out of ten, there's a way to do that. And uh, we've been we've been lucky that, that that they'll do that for us. Well, this this turned into a, a little bit of uh, possibly even a recruiting segment, which we weren't counting on here. We weren't planning on, but yeah, I really do want to emphasize that if you are in the lending business and you are a loan officer, you should check out Citywide Home Loans. Absolutely, we, we're opening a new branch in Long Beach. I think what in a couple of weeks? Yeah, May first. May first. Yeah, we got our branch in Newport Beach, and we got uh, a couple up in Northern California. Now. Correct. Yep. So check us out, Citywide Home Loans. You can call me direct at 949-720-1616. All right, so for the first time ever now, we are going to, I am going to let somebody else answer the Ask Dino question. And I'm sure the listeners are very, very excited about that. All right, so the Ask Dino segment is basically um, throughout the week, the listeners have either Facebooked, emailed, or just gotten online and, and asked questions, just daily questions of stuff that's happening in their lives right now. Bill, tell us, ask us, ask us the questions. I want to see who here in this panel is the most knowledgeable. Okay, uh, this one's probably good for Jordan. I, I'm thinking, uh, does it make sense to furnish a vacant home before you put it up for sale? That is a great question, Phil. You know, everything in real estate, probably just like the law, is it depends. <laughs> It depends on the price point. It depends on how the home shows. I'll tell you a lot of a lot of stages. What they're going to tell you is that, you know, if there's some things that are outdated, a lot of times you're going to put some little trinkets or some furniture here. You want you want to put things in the home that are going to take attention away from those things that you don't want to draw attention to. But you know what? If the home has got brand new hardwood floors and the upgraded baseboards and all the you know things like that, the granite countertops, the nice cabinetry. You might not necessarily need to put furniture in there because you want to draw attention to the things that are already there, and you don't need to take attention away from those things, if that makes any sense. Yeah, it totally does. Okay. And, and Phil, before you ask any questions, I'm really disappointed in you. The, the whole Uh-oh. intention here was for me to make Tony look bad. <laughs> I didn't need a professional like Jordan answering the question. Oh, I, I'm I'm sorry. Sorry. I needed Tony to reach for a lifeline. 
So we'll, let's we'll just ask start him it all questions. over again. Okay, Tony, <laughs> is it is it is it a good time to buy land? Oh well, sure, of course it is. That's a good one to start with. Yeah. Tell us why. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's just like with the housing market. There's at this point, there's probably limited amounts of land that's available, and when you have a limited amount, it's supply and demand. Uh, I think that you've you've started to see that housing prices have gone up. Building and uh, the builders have started to build again where they can find land. So the the value of that is only going to appreciate. Dino, can he stay in play? So far. All right. Cool. So far. <laughs> uh, with housing prices going up, do arm loans make sense to try again? Tony, is that for me? Uh, these are all for you. Do I do I get to phone a friend here or phone a Dino? Or, no, I'm right here to bail you out if you need it. Oh, well, this one I can probably handle. So I'm just going to give you the the answer of it depends. It really depends on the situation. Uh, in this market, you know the the economists and all the 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 professionals that we that we hear talking about the markets are all saying home prices are going up. They're going to appreciate this year and into the future. So for someone who's trying to get into this market now. An arm program that has a lower interest rate means a lower lower payment. To where if they're they're really looking to possibly purchase this as an investment, an arm program could be great. The other option would be if somebody knows that they're not going to be in that home very long. If they're like, look, Tony, we're we're going to be here for two years, and then we're moving back to Utah or anywhere else that's lovely in the country, then an arm program might also make a lot of sense. So, I I actually like arms quite a bit. I know a lot of people blame these alternative, you know, loan programs on on what happened here, but the fact of the matter is is if you know exactly what you're doing or you're pretty sure about what you're doing, for example, if you're getting into a two bedroom condo and you're like 30 years old and you're not quite married but you know you're going to be here in the next few years and you're going to have a family, chances are you're going to be growing out of it. You don't necessarily need a 30 year fix if you're going to be selling it in 5 years. Yeah. So you can true. save yourself a lot of money if you know what your future holds. If you just jumped into your car, you're listening to Money Matters with Dino at. If you just jumped into your car, you're listening to Money Matters with Dino. We can be reached at 949 720 1616. That's 949 720 1616. Or you can check us out online at moneymatterswithdino.com. All okay. right, Phil, what's the next question? All right. Uh, does it make a difference going to a direct money lender when I get a loan? Direct money lender. So, absolutely. Um, and and that's kind of, I don't exactly know what you mean by direct money lender. Direct lender versus broker. Okay, great. So Citywide is actually a, a direct lender. So what that means is, you know, we sell to Freddie. We use our own money to to fund the loans. We just don't do the servicing. But the big difference there is that I'm not taking your loan as a third party loan officer and then having to go and submit it to another investor to then underwrite the file, approve the file. Everything is done on site, in house. We do originate, we process, we underwrite the file, we close the file. It's all done on site in one place. And really, what that allows me to do is just be more efficient at the at the loan process, and it gives me a lot more control over that file, making sure that we're going to hit our deadlines on time. Okay, I'm going to expand on that one just a little bit because, you know, you can, when with a direct money lender, as you said, you can you can we can call it one of the big banks. And if you go to one of them, all you have available to you is the product that they have, that their bank has, and that's it. With a company like Citywide, although we are a direct lender, we actually sell to several different investors. So we as well sell to that big bank. The difference is, is that we get wholesale pricing because we take the risk by underwriting it ourselves, and then we sell it to one of them. But what that does to you is that unless you're a, a, just a vanilla you know, type of a loan, you have any kind of an issue, which most people do these days, there's this bank, bank A may not take it, bank B may. The problem is, is if you're going to these big banks yourself, you don't know which one that is. But a company like ours, your loan officer will know that stuff and and will underwrite it for that specific bank. It saves you a lot of time and money. Okay. I think this is our last one. Um, what... Uh, Okay, what are the rates, uh, your rates on a jumbo loan? And is that what I need if I'm buying a multi unit building? I'm going to turn that one over to Dino himself to answer. <laughs> Lifeline, huh? Well, I don't give any rates out on this program for a, a reason. And that's because 
I don't believe in it because by the time I walk out this door, rates might be completely different from what they were when I first started. So, you know, that's why I'm not a believer in the advertising and all that stuff, because when when you see something online or on billboards or on the radio and they're guaranteeing a certain rate, it means absolutely nothing. By the time you call and get your package approved, everything could be totally different. So I'm going to I'm going to say, I don't know. Give me a call and I will tell you the truth, though, when you call after I know what your particular situation is. Well, that's the end of our show. You're listening to Money Matters with Dino. If you have any questions about anything you heard here on the show today, don't wait. Pick up the phone and get the answers you need. We're here to help. Call us at 949-720-1616. That's 949-720-1616. Or you can find us online at moneymatterswithdino.com. We're a tremendous resource for you to use at any time. Thank you to my expert panelists this week, Tony Pinto, Western Regional Manager at Citywide Home Loans, and Jordan Bennett from Keller Williams slash CPA. Guy has more credentials than anybody I know. Also, a big thank you to my producer, Phil, for all the work you do and uh, on the show and fielding all the questions on the Ask Dino segment. Very special thank you. Also goes out to you, the listener for sending in your questions and taking the time out of your day on a beautiful afternoon to listen to us. You're the reason I come on air every week. I love doing the show and I truly hope you get as much out of it as I do. I'll see you next week.